when we start every meeting in the hose and fitting stores, our first agenda item, whether this is a corporate meeting or whether this is in the stores for the Friday morning stand-up meeting, we talk about our cultural cornerstones because we really believe that's one of the most important things about our company is how we interact with each other and with our customers and our vendors. I'm Mary Melton Hale, the group president for Cross Hose and Fittings. I feel like I'm a woman who is historical at this point. I'm an antique officially, and I've been in this industry for 40 years, and it's been a lot of fun. In Cross Hose and Fittings, we mainly work with MRO customers, which would be maintenance, repairs, and operations. We serve those customers through our counters in our five stores. Counters are only a portion of our business. Last year, it was approximately 33% of our overall business, but it was 43% of our gross profit. So uh, we really love helping those customers at the counter. And we talk to them about, we're going to get you back to work fast. So that's our value proposition. They're going to come in with a broken, greasy, nasty hose that's off of their half million dollar piece of equipment. And we're going to build them a replacement so they can go back, put it right on there, and get back to work. And we also visit their locations and do bin fill service, just like you might see with a fastenal or a business like that. So whatever they use from their bins, we go back and replenish it. We take care of that for a multitude of customers. And then we also have a few OEM customers. So uh, we do all kinds of strange things in hose and fittings. We're recently getting more into food grade applications. We do brewery hose and we do wash down hose that's FDA approved. And that's kind of an exciting thing to get into these days. Um, we love working with breweries because they also need compressed air. And we're going to help them out with their trans air lines. So that's um, aircraft grade aluminum. And it's really super clean. So anybody in a, either a food application or pharmaceutical, anything that really needs to be clean, a clean room, that's working with analog brakes, for instance. Um, that all needs to have really clean air, and TransAir will help with that. Within the hose and fitting group, we don't get to interact a whole lot with our other groups, but we do get to work with the teams at the corporate office. We might drive some of them crazy even, but uh, we, tr we try to be really good coworkers and answer their questions quickly. We have customers that do everything in the world, and whenever we visit one, we see something different, and all their applications are just really cool and fun to see. might not be so easy to get excited about products sometimes, but man alive, what the products connect to, that's the fun stuff. In our group, we're really focused on growth. We are working this year just to follow some processes better, make things smooth. We talk about how we can help grow ESOP constantly. We want to keep more of the dollars that we make. So we strive to keep down our overall operating costs so that we have higher net profit. And that just goes right to our ESOP numbers. And what does the future of hose and fittings look like? Well, growth is in the name. And in order to attain the growth that we need, we need to improve our operations so that we can handle more orders quickly get customers back to work fast, and be able to grow our customer base. Then we want to start opening stores again. We really expect to have at least five new stores in five more years. It's just an exciting time to be at Cross. So yeah, I like being the artery of the industrial world.